Hey folks, Quilletine here, and welcome to another Battlestar Galactica board game night here with Briarstone, Enter Elysium, Arumba, and Kenor, and at the end of the last turn, Arumba, our admiral, was picking a destination for us. Where are we going? Oh, Yonder. Captain, my captain. Deep space. Mm. Okay. Woo, we lose one fuel and one morale? Whoa. To only move two? Whoa! D? Dude, dude, he's a Cylon. No. Holy shit, Bill. I know that the I know the other option. The other option was just as bad. No, the other option was risky for good stuff, but the bad was nowhere near as bad. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Interesting conflict here. Mm-hmm. Here's here's the thing though, I feel like if um if Ty had been a Cylon, because Ty got to look at D's loyalty card, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think if Ty had been a Cylon and D wasn't, Ty should have accused D of being a Cylon. Yeah. Uh, but I suppose it you know it could have been another sort of meta so level are, of stuff. Are we assuming that they're both Cylons then? Ah, I find that really unlikely how things go. I'm dubious. Like I really Does not does no one realize not. does no one realize that we've got four and now we get to do the rest of the loyalty cards? Yes. Like that's that's what I was excited about. It's two jump. We got went two yes. distance. The are you implying just... that the other one was less than two? And I, I can't tell you that. what the other card no, was. And the thing is, I would generally go towards the higher the higher number. And you could just be having a simple disagreement about what's a better card or not. So, mm. fair <laughs> enough. All right. Uh, I'm going to decrease the hey, fuel by one. Know. We got lots of fuel. Decrease morale by one. It's actually not that bad at all. No. Uh, we're at distance four. So, indeed, we all have to go and draw one additional loyalty card. I'm actually starting to doubt myself from that one. I'm like, maybe maybe I'm thinking of a, of a card. No. <laughs> I Could didn't be. make a note, so I, I really yeah. thought that Ty wasn't a Cylon, but now I'm not so sure. Um, That's okay. funny. I'm doubting myself, yeah. Ooh, well, it's because you're, it's you've just drawn another loyalty card, and clearly you're a Cylon. I haven't drawn it yet, I'm just about to. Okay, well, well I've drawn mine. as well. Oh, wait, and wait. I am not a Cylon. There we go. We're it's drawing good, good loyalty though. cards? A likely yep. story. I've heard you say that so often. Oh. And, and last time, you, you said it the exact same... Card. Yeah, but that was... I only checked one. And the last time you said it the exact same way, with the same inflection, <laughs> I am not the Cylon. Here's the thing that worries me. Last time we played, I drew a Euro Cylon card this time around. This time, I didn't. Which means someone who wasn't a Cylon last game is now a Cylon. Basically, you're all get going out the airlock. <laughs> I didn't really follow any of that. <laughs> but I just don't trust you anymore. Is what I'm saying. Cylon last time is now a Cylon. You're right. paranoid. Well, last time it was fine because I'm like, ha, 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 I'm the Cylon. I don't have to worry about a thing. Now I'm just scared. Ryston's too home. quiet. We need to execute him. He, he's uh, busy what? reading his Cylon card. Yeah, I don't yeah. He, he's, he's trying to figure out what, 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 what happens when you reveal. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's reading. I mean, okay. I'm 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 quiet sometimes. It just happens to be the case. Well, just so everyone knows, I'm in the uh, Pegasus and I can airlock people. So <laughs> just let me know who. Hoorah. That's good news. That's good. Good news, everyone. So there's a lot I can do in my turn here, because again, I got my Liadama trickery stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out. We've got no threats on board. What's the... We do. We do have a threat on board. Oh, oh, we have a boarding oh, party. That's right. And shoot. Silence. There's, yeah, there's no one in space, but unfortunately there's someone a little bit well, closer than that. It's really easy for another Cylon to forget that there's another Cylon on board, and that's a bad thing. Well, I was just looking at the board. Like, we jumped. There's nothing there. I was just talking about the jump prep where the, <laughs> the pursuit track is at zero. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. He was trying to convince us that there's no threat so we'd forget about them. We could go and execute someone. Seems a little <laughs> early for that, though. <laughs> Could just I go to the armory and shoot. The... Yeah. Give me an XO, Quill, and I'll I'll execute whoever you want. As I say, if you're not a Cylon, then anyone you execute, it's a 50-50 chance you'll get a Cylon. Those are pretty good odds, right? They are. They're better than the rolling the nuke dice. <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> Although, if you are a Cylon and you just try to execute someone at random, then you got a 75% chance of killing a human. Well, the, the problem is also that if you're... If you're a human and you go to the airlock and you execute someone, it's actually not 50-50 because that player gets to draw another character card, which may be a Cylon. That's true. 
So you could potentially have two. Still, it's, all, it's only two Cylons, though. Couldn't it be three. Uh, right? We're, you with the house rule points. we're using, we're yeah. gonna when someone gets executed, we're gonna make a new loyalty deck with one Cylon card and four. You are not a Cylon card because the twenty percent chance is the same ratio that we had. So if you do accidentally uh, Cylon or execute a human, it's mm -hmm. a, it's possible they'll come back as a Cylon. Very slim chance, <laughs> but just just but to if, keep but, it exciting. But if I execute somebody and they are a Cylon, then they go to the the other ship. Yep. Yeah, they stop the. We don't. The Cylon. So and it is possible. It is possible to have three Cylons then. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. So it's possible to have like five Cylons. Sort of with our house rule, but it's pretty unlikely. The yeah. problem okay. is like, I guess, I guess going to the armory and just shooting there. Or no, you know what? I should do my quorum tricks. Derp, that's way better. The, well, there's not that many heavy raider cards out there. We've got a lot of time to shoot that. Oh, that's I'm like already here. Me. They're the big threat. We've got well, lots of resources, it... but they can instant kill us. Uh, that's true. You think I should go over there instead of doing presidential stuff? Yes. I, mm. I can't. I can't help you. But, Unless you can yeah. XO somebody to do it. XO me. Well, here's the thing: if someone's in the armory, everyone else that draws uh, uh, leadership cards can then XO that someone to get a double roll True. on. So we should get someone into the armory as quickly as possible. It'd be great if we had Hilo about now. Mm hmm. Right. Because of the extra rolls. Yeah. 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 Oh, the yeah, for this is, stuff. I am not going to be uh, going to the armory. I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. If other people are going to the armory, because the last thing I want to do is end oh. my turn with somebody. That's right. It's so weird. If you we just, and we just your need someone there, he'll stay there. Up in the same location, other player, you have to discard skill cards. If you don't, you get sent to the brig. That is such a weird ability. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if I should go there. Well, you know, you know what your quorum cards are. If you think your quorum cards are better than uh, yeah. getting oh, a well, shot at removing, the, the ones I have now are not going to help. Well, um, if you have an XO, you can use your magical XO power. So, oh, I don't have an XO. Okay, I'm uh, just trying to decide if I should go hmm. or just leave it up to someone else. Okay. So, okay, because no, I'm thinking of drawing more quorum cards. Well, the, the, thing the ones is, I have now are very situated. Ah, uh, hold on. We're also currently oh, looking... I can, I can play this. Martial Law, is it? Or... No, it's not. What is it? The one that can actually affect... Okay, I'm going to stay here because there's a card that's actually not too bad, and I'll get to draw a Quorum card first. So I'm going to activate my location. Uh, where'd you go? Ah, over here. Okay, mm -hmm. so what I will simply do is, because our morale, along with the food, but our morale is one of the uh, the lower ones. Also, I would rather not get a, uh, hold on, did I draw a, qu a, cri a quorum card? I did, okay. I was like, yeah. I didn't accidentally draw a mutiny card, right? I'm going to do my controversial speech, which is my mutiny card. So if the die roll is six or higher, we gain a morale. So can someone do a strategic, strategic planning? Mm -hmm. Help us gain more morale? I, I cannot. No. No, I, can't. I don't have any. I don't have. I, any I don't have any. Mm. Okay. Spent mine already this time. You are Wait. a Cylon. Well, that I'm not a Cylon. It's fine. Again, the treachery cards. I don't trust you. I have that same itch as last game. <laughs> the same itch as last I, time. I, I, I would have gone to the armory. That's better than I, that card. Yeah, the thing is, the, the heavy raider cards is something like one sixth of the mm. deck so we have something like 24 turns before they can kill us yes but it takes a while to kill them because we kill them in one in four yeah but you probably have a strategic planning clearly no one's got one right now well not right now clearly but we'll get one soon because the next person to go is kara she draws two tactics after that, we've got D who draws three. That's a lot of strategic plannings. I love how no one trusts anyone anymore. It's just like at the start of the game again. Everyone, I'm like the last few thing. turns, everyone's been so happy and hunky dory, and now it's like uh, everyone's a Cylon. Yep. Well, not everyone, only the president and <laughs> someone else. President and admiral. <laughs> That's the way it always works out. Oh, so no. we up for airlocking the president? Be terrible. 
I could just martial law him if we're that concerned. Oh my god, he wants to steal the title? I'm no, just, I'm just I'm saying. Shit. I don't know. I, 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 haven't, I haven't been able to analyze Ty yet in the second round, so I'm dubious about giving both of them to Ty in the second round. Yeah, me too. Although Everyone it doesn't really matter. It's not like we can change it. Heavy Raider, you Quill being like, oh, Heavy Raiders are so rare. They are rare. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> no, something like a third of the deck are the um, activate regular Raiders. And then it's split among everything else. Like Here's the base problem. Star, base Star Fires, Base Star Launches Raiders. And then the there's, heavy raider. There's a Cylon fleet board that has another raider in the exact same location that can get boarded. Yeah. So I'm thinking we should probably handle it. Yeah, we should. Um, we have to. Yes. We've got to take uh, care of this. Okay. So a hang, hangar accident. Starbuck goes first. Yes. Oh, so look, a heavy raider. Tactics piloting engineering helps. Yep. Pass no uh, effect. Seven or greater, we lose a population. Have we lost any population yet? Oh, we did lose one. One. Yeah. And uh, fail is really bad. Yeah, so I am I am gonna put some cards in, but I do need some help. Uh, I can help a little bit, but I was kind of wanting to save this card. Well, it's, mm, well, I I I need I need some help, but we'll we'll see how it works out. Okay, uh, Knorr okay. put in two. Next up mm -hmm. is D. Um, let's go check. Done. Okay. Next up is Ty. Okay, I can help a lot. Not that we need a lot of help. It's only ten, but yeah. But so I'll play. There are there. There's three. Quill and another Cylon about somewhere. Okay, I'm done. Okay, that's a lot of cards. I'm wondering if I need to put in some more help. Ah, uh, but it's how heavily spiked is it? That's a good <laughs> question. Yeah. It's it's not a terrible. The, loss. I mean, I mean the the problem is also that whoever is a Cylon might be counting on the fact that the Admiral Quarters is currently busted. Oh, do you want me to come back and help repair if I can? Well, it seems like now we actually might need to use it. Actually, we'll just use the airlock. I'm there anyway. Like I could come back and repair people. it. It mean a shuttle ride. Can we just kill them? <laughs> it's some. It's a possibility. All right. I'll well, give you that. I can add, I, like, piloting is my color and tactics too. Trying to figure out how much to add in here. Mm. Zero. Then we can test other people. Oh, well, I already put one in. Crap. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to leave it in there. So, we've got. Whoa, <laughs> right away a treachery card. Okay, that doesn't change the total, though. Uh, five engineering. That's plus five. That's good. Oh, wow. okay. Six. Six. Uh, that's tactics, which is good. Eleven. That is a declare emergency, which is bad. So we're at eight. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Four. Oh, that's so spiked. Five. Six. Wow. Eleven. Well, I will point out that your pilots are obviously supporting things pretty dramatically. So yep. it's either someone put a treachery card in, which is dubious, or someone put tactics in. A uh, leadership, sorry. Which That's is true. everyone but Romo. <laughs> Although <laughs> well, everyone's got a treachery it. card, so Romo could have played that one. True. Okay, so basically oh. we know nothing. I gotta Except say though, if you of all the oh, wait, cards, you didn't cards anything, to play, though, guys. this you is a pretty yeah. weak oh. sauce one. Romo didn't like, put if in you were going to play that, you would have declared it, because you would have said, oh, raiders don't really matter that much, we can kill them, there's nothing on the board. Hmm. Okay, I'm putting everyone that <laughs> <has the> green <laughs> back on the maybe pile. Wait, isn't that the heavy raider? The heavy raider goes up. What? Well, yeah. Hold on, but it's the Dreadus contact that puts two raiders in the front. So yeah. the skill check was a success. Yes. Yes. Oh, yep. The skill check was a success, so that's passed, no effect. So I'll discard these cards. And yeah, the heavy raider advances one, so the boarding party moves forward. Okay, now, now, yeah, we do have to blow the fuck up. I was sure we were fine. What could possibly go wrong? Maybe, of course, you were. It's just not going to get a second term. Jump prep goes up by one. Discard the card. Pass control over to Starbuck. Right. Okay. So, did the boarding party move up or not? I did yes. move it up. Yes. Okay. Good. Or so I mean, good. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, Excuse good. me. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I see. Another check mark. 
It would be a shame to have all these resources and then insta lose to a boarding party. I'm gonna take some leadership. Uh, and then I'm gonna look at my cards. Interesting, the Knorr's not drawing engineering, which would help fix the uh, Admiral's quarters. It's okay, we yes. kill them, but I'm looking for exos. Ah. I I'll agree with the choice of skill cards there. Like, I have a few engineering. Uh, I am gonna go to the armory. He's off to slay the wizard. Yeah, in hindsight. What, um... Uh, sorry to distract what? again. Uh, what, hap yeah. what actually advances pursuit track? It's whenever you put a, a ship on the Cylon fleet board. Yeah, so when you can't move something on the main board. Okay, yeah. so we're good, because we're, okay. they're, they're the lowest one, right? They're at the lowest one, yeah. Also, yeah. there's two types of the uh, activatables that are already on the board. Although, obviously, the Heavy Raiders activating is very bad, but it does it means the Pursuit fleet pursuit Track is unlikely to advance. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, what, Base Star? Base Star, yeah. Base Star or Base, base Star, star firing. firing. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna roll here. I I do not have any any purple cards that can affect this roll. So if you wanna put something in, please do so now. Otherwise, I'm gonna roll. I got nothing. Yeah, I nothing. I, 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 assume, not a... I assume you don't because you haven't drawn your cards. Okay, so here we go. Ah, <sighs> it looked like miss. an eight for a second. <sighs> well, can we just not count it? As, can we count it as an upside down nine instead? <laughs> Chris, Critical sounds hit. like you're trying too hard. You're trying too hard to be on the side of the let's kill all Cylons. Well, I am pretty pro Cylon killing. Uh huh. Um, but he uh, thinks thus not protest too much. Well, the I haven't I haven't fucked up any uh, any of the skill set checks yet. <laughs> so there's that. A traitor accused. Oh my god, this is going to be one of the... Oh no, it's not. I thought it was going to be one of the ones where you get to look at the uh, the skill or the loyalty cards after I said that there wouldn't be any more. Uh, oh, we can use to send it to the brig. Oh. I like the idea of failing this if you cannot pick me uh, or... I don't know. I actually <laughs> don't know. That's fuck. Or you just want somebody, somebody in the brig. Somebody well, should be in the brig Will, by now. Will <laughs> chose not to attack the heavy raider and went for quorum cards, and then did a very eh turn. He did, and I was a bit dubious before, like less dubious towards the end of it, but maybe that's because I was getting onto him. I don't Let's know. see how many quorum cards does he okay, have. So three. he is trying to get me. Well, yeah, three now because I drew the yeah. the extra one. No, I'm just I'm just trying trying in my head to think of if you had yeah. more, I would be more inclined to think you'd have a better quorum card. And but Romo knows the, one of the cards I have. One of the cards I have is very good, but very situational. Or yeah. not the sort of thing you want to throw around sort of blind and willy-nilly. Right. Well, um... Hmm. Rumba's very quiet. I'm just thinking the, it might just be easier to discard five cards because you probably don't have any. How many Ooh. cards do you have? I, just have drew? I have seven. Uh, I, oh, okay. It's a treachery card. I was looking at the wrong player. I, I hate this player list. Yeah, it's dumb. Um, well, you can send yourself to the brig if you really aren't sure, and then someone can XO you out. But that's not optimal. If we can choose someone we think is a Cylon, then great. But alternatively, that, well, that avoids spending six, uh, five cards. Here's the thing. I do not have any... Well, I have a green card. I don't want to use it for the skill check. It's not very strong. Do you guys think we can pass this skill check? Not for me. Let me check. I have um, I uh, I have a lot of leadership cards. Yeah, as do I. Okay, then we are gonna go for the skill check. Yeah, we can test these two people. Yeah. yeah. No, they want to pass it, don't they? Damn it. Well, here's the problem that comes up: is right now we're sort of bringing semi-blindly, and that means there's a three out of five chance, a 60% chance we're going to be bringing a human. Yep. Well, no, it's a 50% chance because I'm the current player and I'm human. <laughs> right. That's a little bit well, okay, Here's what I so... think we should do. I think we should insist that Starbuck brings herself to, as yeah. proof of her loyalty. Well, we are going to do the, we are going to do the skill check and I'm last, so... Well, I'm not putting anything in because I can't help pretty much at all, and I'd like to keep the one card I have 
for eating. Uh, um, sorry, we're doing the skill check right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. I could. I could. Uh, you know what? Let's just do that. Interesting. Playing cards face up. Is that? Yep. Okay. I'm well, just I can. Interested. Well, like I said, I can. I can do a lot. So. If... I, I, I don't know if we want to pass or fail. Yeah, like, want to pass. Pass that much. As a human, as a Cylon, I don't know what people want us to do. You want you're, uh, you're saying we want to pass. Yeah, it's it's a probably a good, good idea because we don't want to have a random person who's likely yeah. to be a human in the brig. And now that we know that yeah. everyone has to play, well, we exo them out. That's true. And okay. It costs, all it costs is one card, one turn, as opposed to four cards. Uh, five the problem cards. is here. Or no, rather, you can't it, exo people out of the brig. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't move out of uh, the brig. Then maybe. Pass. And we want to use the exos on the armory. Yeah, true. It'd be best to keep you in the armory rather than bringing you or whatever. Then. I think we want to pass this. I would agree. Okay. So, so salt high. Okay. Well, it's D first. Uh, you just said D, you weren't going to play anything. D, D oh, I can't do anything. Oh, yeah. oh, never mind. I'm sorry. So here's my two cards face up. Okay. So that's plus oh, five. That is an XO, though. Romo. Mm. Yeah, that's that's quite the discard. Yeah, throwing an XO in. Let's just say I have lots of green cards. Okay. Okay. Romo. Uh, I guess you don't have the colors. Oh no, you have politics, derp. Mm, yeah, I do. Um... Remember, the skill check is probably going to be negative because it's only uh, forty percent of. Uh, well, it's actually, actually worse than that. Yeah, three percent. Yeah. Yeah. Those addings and some cards are helpful. So this brings us up to uh, seven. Anything else, Romo? Um, I'm the last one. No, no, I'm, I get to go still. And Kara. Okay, yep. then uh, then no, uh, so I'm done. Or a plus seven without knowing the destiny check. Um, I think I'll just throw in one big one. Like that. Like what? I don't see anything. Declare emergency. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're at so, plus 12 right now. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to play any cards then. Okay. It's it's easy. It's easier to Destiny tally up the cards if just put them all in one pile and then you can hover over no, so and it'll show yeah. all the cards yeah. at once. So the Destiny deck gives us a bait. Place one civilian ship behind Galactica. Yep. And violent outbursts. The current player is sent to sickbay. <laughs> so it's a negative four, but that's still a pass. Yeah, because uh, we, we were at 12, weren't we? So, yep. Uh, yeah, so it's an eight. So it's barely pass. And we've got a sick bait Starbuck. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's an XO can take care of that easily. Yeah. Uh, the Raiders advance, so they will go towards the bottom, towards the ship. And we get to uh, advance the jump track. Uh. I'm doing that. I'm not, not liking those ships. Nope. And that's it for Starbucks turn. So I'll draw my cards. Somebody needs to exo Starbuck. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I'm we're going to draw use another tactic when we're out. Oh, just uh, we right click the discard and then shuffle like that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Right, now let me just adjust my hand because it puts all the cards in weird places. Right, oh. Well, this is a really easy turn for me. Starbuck, do your thing. Protect our civilian ships. Okay, so you want me to go to the hangar deck? Yeah, because you can activate hangar deck, then you get two free actions because you can use CAG. Yeah. So I'm going to the hangar deck, and I'm going to put myself in a... I'm going to put myself in a fancy viper, and I'm going to put myself over here. And then I'm going to use my CAG action. And I will uh, I will put an unmanned Viper in... Hmm. Do I want to put it in the same spot? Probably. Like, there are yeah. five other Raiders waiting to jump in there. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Really? And oh, crap, yeah. Although yeah, the bottom right also does. We do need some extra bodies in the bottom right as well. Yeah, yeah, we do. 
that. Okay, so that's my CAG action and it leaves me with one action still, right? Yeah, because your CAG uh. gives you one with someone else and then one with yourself. Yeah. And do, 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 the question is, how many how many are there there right now? So there's only two. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna shoot one. Um, because I don't. Think... Oh, are you in one of these ships? Yes, I am. I'm in one of them. Uh, I just haven't found the piece, but there, there we go. go. You right uh, click on the the tile and then. Oh, I see. Uh, and I guess I'm, I'm just gonna shoot one of them. I think that's the best thing to do. Uh, because we know what's coming, and I don't want to waste uh, good cards that I have when they okay. can be used later. Uh, that should destroy That's... one of them, right? Uh, yeah. So, destroyed. Remove it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my laser sound. Pew pew, all the things. Exactly. Uh, um, yeah. I, that, that should be all my actions. Okay, so D's crisis. Right, so cards crisis. Oh, this one. Hmm. Cag chooses, so Starbuck. Okay, activate an unmanned viper, viper, and then, then activate the raiders. I think that's fine. Kag chooses two vipers that are not currently damaged or destroyed and moves them to the damaged viper box. I've, so what's going to happen if the vipers, uh, um, I mean, if the raiders activate here? They're going to shoot at you. That's Except the only thing. if our unmanned viper we activate kills this raider, mm -hmm. we're activating raiders on the other one, which, evac which jumps the pursuit track up. It so does. ideally you want to activate an unmanned viper and not attack. You just move it around. Yeah, move you it You could also launch one. Right. You, can un you can activate a oh. viper and you can... Uh, yeah, so yeah. I I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the first one, and then I'm gonna whoops, I'm gonna activate a viper and put it down here, and then the raider sh sh do. shoots at my thing. Yeah, so go ahead and roll for yourself. That is a miss, so you yep. take no damage. Can now play it first. Um, I believe the active player gets to choose if he attacks the unmanned or manned vipers. Yeah. Okay. Eight. So usually you will want to. Well, it depends. Often you want to attack the manned ones, actually, assuming that you have a evasive maneuvers. Yeah. Okay. Because it's much better if it's something if you're rerolling for an unmanned one. Mm -hmm. uh, next thing is we are putting a base star on the other board. Isn't that base star two. launches? It's base star launches raiders. There's no base star on the board, so a base star will spawn. There is a bottom in two, isn't there? Yeah, so yeah. now there's going to be two of them there. Oh, crap. Well, I don't know. Good nuke target. But wait, isn't it base star launches? So shouldn't the base star in the two be launching anyway? Why are we putting the second one in? I'm confused. Uh, well, let me check. But no, because there's no base star on the actual board. It's a base star on the Cylon Pursuit board. Oh. It does, doesn't count. Let me. I'll double check okay. just to make super sure here. If you get, yeah, if you get either launch raiders or activate Cylon base stars... If there are no base stars on the main board, you place a base star on the silent fleet board. Well, then we're then... really hoping that Soul Tie is human. I am. Yep. I'll and nuke then... the crap out of it. We should wait until they advance, and then we'll blow them up. GG. Uh, the pursuit track advances, right? Oh, yes, you're right. Which means... You. City. Which means... Yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to put one right there. Uh, yeah, well, it, the yeah, reason I'm putting fine. it there is because my I can move two, so it's equally close to oh, me. Oh yeah, but true. it's further away from everyone, everything else. Yeah, that's that's actually a very good point. It's a very human point. Mm -hmm. I know. So I think we should put a cut in here. But next turn will be Saul's turn. Yep. All right. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> See you <laughs> soon. <laughs> <laughs> Stay shiny. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>